So we are, we're in the, uh, like a perfect little hub and we wanted to make a little video about hub hunting because Gary's had some success hunting hubs. I have as well. And this is like a perfect small compact hub that's set up really nice. Um, Gary's hunted in here a little bit more than me. Where do you see him like bedding here in this hub, Gary? Well, there's fingers that come out on uh, this hub system and about two thirds of the way up, there's like a flat on those fingers and that's where I'm finding where they're bedding. Yeah. There's uh, a lot of um, briars in there too, where they gives them a little backdrop. Yeah, Yeah. there's a lot of thick cover up in up yeah. on that whole, I mean, literally the whole, like the sea of the hub here, just the top third of the, of the ridge is just covered in green briar and layovers and everything else. Yes. So that has a lot to do with the deer being up there too. Correct, good, correct. Good cover. Um, what wind do we want to hunt, hunt this on? This wind, this here, I, honestly, I would probably like a east wind or a south wind or something that's gonna blow my scent. Yeah, and right behind the camera essentially is the crop fields or the fields yeah. um, where the deer would be at a couple hundred yards that way. Um, and then kind of where all these points come down and meet, there's points from up here, there's points back in here, there's points over here. Right here is a just a classic hub scrape. Yeah. And they had the, the licking branches tore up on it. And the, the scrape, you can see it's kind of indented to where it's been here for a long time. You can tell that they've, they've been scraping on it a long time. Do you always, uh, like when you see something like this right now, this time of year, freshen it up with some juices yes. as we call them? Yep, yep, I absolutely, every time I will freshen it up. Um, I'll put some licking branch. That's the most important thing to me is the licking branch part of it. I do put some spray down inside and work it up a little clear the leaves out of there. And they just keep, they keep hammering it year round then. Mm -hmm. Even the doles will come and, yep. and lick on that and rub their heads around. But pretty much I want them to check on it every time they come through here so when rut comes around this is going to be super hot spot yeah and then we, we've just put up a regular sd card camera over the scrape um we'll leave we'll, we'll probably leave it until yeah. october yep this um, we just uh pulled the camera i had in there from last spring mm -hmm. and getting intel uh to see what's going on but the thing i like about this hub it is a really a small hub that a lot of people it'd be overlooked yeah and it's really far in it's a it's a hall and not only is it small where with all these bedding points it's overlooked and the nice thing is about this is there it a cross through this hub to get to two major hubs on both sides so you have cross traffic in that direction too so it really does amplify how much the deer use this in here. So it's kind of cool that way. Yeah, during the rut, you'll see the, you'll see big bucks just jumping. Just cruising. Yeah, they'll, jumping they'll actually come off these hills and cruise right through here and back up over to that next major drainage. Yep. But we see a lot of activity early season. It seems like that first few days of October, you, there's a good chance you can kill a buck in a, a little hub. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, obviously the rut, it's always a good time to kill a deer anywhere really. Yeah, early season is really hot for these hub scrapes especially leading to the crop fields and if there's some white oaks which in this particular hub there is white oaks and they're dropping man that this this could be on fire absolutely yep and then how would where, where do you think we'd set up at like what tree would you pick out for uh, i would depending i'm wind dependent so yeah. like literally when i come down in here because of the way winds can swirl and and move around depending on leaf cover and all that i'll throw out milkweed for about 10 minutes and see before I actually dive in and grab a tree. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's all wind dependent and with thermals and everything. So yeah, and then every just, to, just see what the wind's doing in here and decide where you're going to be able to shoot this scrape. Do you just typically try to shoot the scrape when you're in here, like be able to as close as I can. Yeah, yeah. Um, at least to be able to either get them before they get to the scrape or at the scrape. Yeah, yeah. and this this one's small enough that. You wouldn't want to push any farther in no, than this. I mean, no. you're too close right now almost. I, I think you know? if you tried to push in any deeper, you'd actually be bumping them other beds. So yeah. you'd have to stay tight yeah. on the edge here. Yeah, not all, and it's also, it's, you know, we got kind of a wall right here, a wall as in like a really steep bank on this side, but it's fairly flat and open through here to where I think the wind would be a little more consistent than, you know, say some real tight little pinch that yep. some hubs yep. make. 
I used to mark the tree, the, yeah. the kill tree. And I just find that all of a sudden I get down in here and the, the winds aren't working right and whatever. I know where the scrape is and then I work my way in slow. And that helped out tremendously the last couple of years. Yep. So I think that's all that we think about when we're talking about scrapes. We, you know, in the past we've scouted here. We know where the bedding is just from past experiences in here, running cameras in here uh, in the last couple of years. Um, and you can definitely go up there and find, find beds. We don't really need to go up there. We know we know they're bedding up there so yeah we've already um, pre-scouted it and yeah that's it so find you a good hub with lots of cover up top and um, some good points find the hub scrape this is clearly the hub scrape for this little hub there's probably only one scrape down in here um, and then don't forget to you know think about that wind when you're coming in here to pick a tree out so i think that's it yep subscribe right here wherever wherever i point point them at i don't i don't know where they're going to be at right in there somewhere yeah right there <laughs>